Welcome for this mathematics lesson. We're going to study linear motion, relative speed. The distance between towns A and B is 360 kilometers. A minibus left town A at 8.15 a.m. and traveled towards town B at an average speed of 90 kilometers per hour. A matato left town B two and a third hours later on the same day and traveled towards A at an average speed of 110 kilometers per hour. Part A, Roman 1, at what time did the two vehicles meet? So these two vehicles are going to meet somewhere on the way. Remember, we have a, a distance of 360 between towns A and B. But now, there is a, a minibus which starts traveling at 8.15. Then it travels towards B from A at an average speed of 90. Then two, okay, two and a third hours later. So two and a third hours later, the minibus had traveled some distance. This is because uh, before the matato started. The minibus has covered some distance. And that distance can be calculated by taking the speed of the minibus, 90, and the time, which is two and a third. You know, two and a third means uh, this is a 7 over 3. So 2 and that is 7 over 3. So 7 out of 3. So the distance itself is going to be 90 by 7 out of 3. This is going to be 210 kilometers. So before the matato started, the minibus has already traveled for 2 and that hours. So it has already narrowed 210 kilometers. So 210 kilometers now covered. This is 2, 10 kilometers covered. It means now that the total distance was 360. Then the remaining distance is 150 kilometers. So by the time the matato is starting, the minibus has already covered 210. So remaining distance, 150. So now our relative distance in this case is going to be 150 then the relative speed, because they are covering the same relative distance with a speed of 110 and 90, we add. So when vehicles are approaching one another, we add their speeds to get relative speed, 200 kilometers per hour. Then we can get relative time using relative distance divided by relative speed. So this is going to be. 0 0.75 hours and this is a 45 minutes in other words 45 minutes a third of an hour is 20 minutes so it should be done that this is two hours 20 minutes the two and a third hours so the time they are meeting now is going to be from 8 15 we have uh, the matatu starting two and a third hours later then now for them to meet, they are taking 0 hours, 45 minutes. This is uh, 60 when we add 45 and 15. So we have exactly an hour here. Exactly an hour. We carry the hour and we are getting uh, 11. So 11 a.m., which is also written as 11.00 hours, is the time the two vehicles will meet. We are also told to find how far from A the two vehicles met. So when they are going to meet, how far are they from A? They are going to meet after 0 0.75 hours. And we can say 0 0.57 hours. We multiply with the speed of the minibus. So when we take the speed of the minibus times the time they will take to meet, we are going to get a distance of 67.5 kilometers. And from A, it had already narrowed to 10. So when we add 210 here, we're going to get 277.5 kilometers from A. So that is where they met. That is where they are going to meet. Alternatively, on this one, alternatively, just an alternative thinking, we can say they are meeting 0 0.75 hours and we use the speed 
of the matatu instead of the mean bus. So 0 0.75 times 110, we are getting 82.5 kilometers. Then now we will say, because we have used the speed of matatu, then the matatu is moving from B. Therefore, from A, if the total distance is 360, and this one is from B, so from A, which distance is this? So from A, when we take 360, we subtract, we are getting the same 277.5 kilometers. So that is where they met. Lastly, we are told that a motorist started from his home at 10.30 a.m. on the same day as the Matato and traveled at an average speed of 100 kilometers per hour. He arrived at B at the same time as the minibus. Calculate the distance from A to his house. Therefore, we are told that a, a motorist to move from his home at 10 that a.m. on the same day as the Matatu. Then he is going to travel at an average speed of at an average speed of 100 kilometers per hour. Then he arrived at B. So this motorist who is somewhere here he is going to arrive at B the same time as the minibus. Calculate the distance from A to his home. So his home is somewhere here and we have A here. Remember he is starting at 10.30 a.m. What we should look at is what is this time when the minibus is going to arrive. So the minibus is traveling. Let me get the minibus at a speed of 90 at a speed of 90 to cover a distance of 360. So it will arrive after 4 hours. But it is started at uh, 8.15. So at 8.15, we are adding 4 hours exactly. So this is going to be 12.15 p.m. 12.15 p.m. Therefore, because they are arriving at B at the same time, which is 12.15, but this one is starting at 10.30 then we can get the time taken by the motorist. Time taken by motorist, we take 12.15 and we subtract 10.30. Started at 10.30. Therefore, this is going to be 75. We get 45 when we carry an hour. Then 11 minus uh, 10, we get 1. So we have 1 hour 45 minutes. 1 hour 45 minutes is the time to be taken by this motorist. Now that the motorist is taking 1 hour 45 minutes to travel and is going at a speed of 100, then we can get the distance he has covered. So we are saying that uh, distance which is given by speed times time, we multiply a speed of 100 and 1 hour 0.75. That is 1 hour 75. 1 hour Point seven five because forty five minutes is zero point seven five of an hour, so this is one seventy five kilometers. So the motorist has started his journey somewhere, and he is covering one seventy five to reach B. So if he is covering one seventy five to reach B, how far is E from A? So we have one seventy five to the home, but now from B to A is three sixty. So from A, from A. It will be 360 minus 360 minus 175 kilometers. 175 kilometers, which is 185 kilometers of distance.